It's so great to be in a room with confident, compassionate, caring, works in progress. When I say you're a work in progress, it means that the best is yet to come. You are a masterpiece just as you are, but your potential is beyond where you are today. We all have that opportunity to work hard every day and grow into what people then say, oh, they're the overnight success. And the great part about being a work in progress is it's already in you. All of that potential you already know. I released my first book this year and I called it a work in progress because I decided that I finally have figured it out. I don't have to have it all together. I can be figuring it out as I go. A few months after I released my book, I was going through an old journal entry from 2012. That is my handwriting where I wrote, I am a work in progress. And I was like, oh my gosh, you knew this back in 2012. You wrote this down in 2012. How do we be more productive in our day? And I think it starts with having a solid routine. Having something when you wake up every morning, you know that I'm gonna do this and this and this. So your brain doesn't have to think about it. And you also aren't relying on how you feel in that moment to get things done. If you are setting your routine based on how you feel in the moment, you won't do the hard things because you will never feel like doing it in that moment. You have to have that routine where you make no excuses and you just get to it. So I've been in the broadcasting industry about a decade and for most of that time I have worked on morning TV. The first question that people ask when they hear that you work on the early morning show is what time do you wake up for work? Until the last couple months when I just changed to the show Great Day Washington, I was waking up at 2 a.m. for years. So I know your next question is what time did you go to bed, right? If you're waking up at 2 a.m., what time did you go to bed? Between 5 or 6 p.m. And after like five years of being on a morning show, your body just gets used to it. And it became very natural to me to wake up at 2 and go to bed at 5 or 6. But when you really want to do something, when it's something that you actually want to do for your business, you don't make any excuses. You just get it done. But you have to have that determination and the grit and the responsibility and the no excuses to actually get it done. Having the idea is one part, following through is the next. We have to stop comparing our behind the scenes with someone else's highlight reel. Remember who you are. Step into that truth. And don't let what has happened to you become your story. React to it. And you steer the ship. A bolt of lightning came back from the storm and it hit her when your sibling goes from someone who you just like would go out golfing with and I'd beg her to teach me the steps that she had just learned at musical practice to now you're feeding her and bathing her. Your whole perspective changes as well. I went to NOAA and I started doing lightning safety and traveling across the country telling my sister's story and being her voice for her. You direct the ship. You direct where that story goes. And she's one of the reasons why I always get up here and share her story. Imagine where you want to be in five years. But as you're thinking of your potential, as you're thinking where you want to go from here, and you know you're a work in progress, don't forget that you are also a masterpiece. Because you're allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress simultaneously. Thank you all so, so much. <laughs>